So here we're going to do our first test with the new methanol recovery prototype. <coughs> Call this the water test. Before putting methanol in the sucker, I just run a test with water to uh, make sure there's no leaks in the seals or anything, and make sure all the equipment works well before I switch to a more toxic uh, methanol. So we have a little thermocouple that tells us the temperature of the water heater is now about uh, 69 degrees, 70 degrees Celsius or uh, 158 Fahrenheit. Uh, this is well below the boiling point of water, uh, which is all we have in our recovery unit. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to uh, turn on this vacuum pump, which is then going to basically create a vacuum uh, in this carboy that we can read on this uh, vacuum gauge. And uh, from that carboy, uh, it's being fed through copper line through this uh, heat exchanger, which is being kept cool by a water feed from a garden hose I have outside. And uh, the heat exchanger, uh, basically vapors come through this copper pipe on the top of the hot water tank uh, through the heat exchanger where they cool down into liquid and uh, are deposited as liquid into the carboy. And uh, this should happen at low temperature or less than the boiling point of water because we're going to do the whole process under vacuum.